everyone, I have another memorization tip for you. This is one of my favorite memorization strategies just because I think it's really fun. This is an especially good thing to do if you feel like your muscle memory is the weak point for you. Um, so if, you know, in a performance you tend to, you know how it's supposed to go, you just forget how to do it physically. This will really help you. So you want to take something you want to test your memory on and play it on your instrument without any sound coming out. So for string players, we can slip a cloth between the strings and the fingerboard and it will just be a bunch of like random squeaks. Um, if you're a guitarist, this also works. If you are a wind or brass player, like press down on the keys but don't blow. Um, if you're a pianist, um, don't press the keys down or if you have an electric keyboard, just don't have the sound turned on. But you want to see if you can play it from memory without being reinforced by the sound of your instrument to tell you whether you're correct or not. There's another step of this that I do as a string player that's not going to work for anybody else, so I'll just put it in the demonstration video. But I hope you'll try this today. Test yourself with something you're trying to memorize to see. Can you play it without sound and know that you are correct? All right, I'm going to demonstrate how I do the playing without sound thing to test memory. I'm not working on anything from memory right now. Um, so I will use something that most people probably recognize, which is the um, prelude to the six Bach cello suite. I'll just play the opening uh, normal so you can hear how it sounds and you can see how it looks. Um, and then I'll show you uh, playing without sound. So here's how it should be. That's not my going. my muscle memory on that, um, I would take my cleaning cloth and I'm going to slip it between the strings and the fingerboard. Okay. okay, so I have my cleaning cloth in between the strings and the fingerboard. <laughs> if I play, I just get squeaks. So now I'm going to play the same thing. Um, testing, do, does my body know it without uh, the benefit of sound? So... So yes, the answer is yes. That wasn't any harder for me um, than it was uh, without this. But uh, if your muscle memory is weak, that will be very hard for you and it's a great test. Another thing to do is to detune your strings. I learned this from Peter Slowick, my teacher in undergrad. Detune your strings and make it rather than for viola A, D, G, C, like random notes. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then come back and show you the strings I have. Okay, so here's my lovely viola. <laughs> Not in tune. Um, so now I'm gonna play that same Bach and I want it to be correct with my fingers. I'm not trying to make it sound correct. I'm trying to make it feel correct. And it's going to sound totally wrong. So if I can play it from memory in the face of the distraction of what's coming out of my viola, then I also know that my muscle memory is secure. So here we go. <laughs> So that is also a great test of your muscle memory.